We are Marc, Amy, Juliette and Clément from the medieval Chateau de Rosière. This Christmas we've made you a very special advent calendar. Every day from the 1st to the 25th of December we will open the door to a different room in the chateau and introduce you to its past, present and future. Merry Christmas. Hello everybody, this is Amy from Chateau de Rosière and this is the next day on our advent tour. And I just wanted to explain something that I should probably have explained earlier um, that's been coming up in the comments. Now, we are a completely private chateau. Uh, we are not open to the public in any way, shape or form. Uh, we will be eventually, but that's quite a long way off. Um, it's also completely unfinished. We haven't tackled the chateau at all, apart from some of the dining room and one other large bedroom that I'm going to show you. So the rooms are not in their finished form. We just put in what we have in order to accommodate friends when they come to stay and to keep them reasonably furnished and also somewhere to store the furniture that we buy. Um, we also... Uh, they, those rooms might actually look like they're supposed to be finished, but that's because the people who owned the chateau briefly before us did some very superficial decorating. They painted walls and made it look pretty from a distance. But what they didn't do is to tackle um, the underlying problems of electricity, heating, um, windows, and uh, water, everything, all the big problems. So we're sort of having to take it all back before that. So what you're seeing now is not a beautifully curated show home. It's our home with our junk in it and we're really just showing you what we hope we can do with it in the future and it's in quite a good position now to show you the past and hopefully in five or six years time we can do this series again and show you how everything has changed. I hope. Also, um, we have uh, to three main floors to the chateau and only the ground floor and the first floor or the first floor and the second floor if you're in um, North America are actually in any fit state to live in. The top floor is completely derelict and hasn't been lived in for more than 130 years at the very uh, most recent and that's where we're going to start today. Today we're showing you one of the smallest rooms in the chateau, but one of the most sinister ones. And as if to make a point, Mark has actually closed me in. Hello! Shall we let her out? Help! Help! Have you been good? Very, very good. Will you behave? No. Okay, so I'm leaving you there. <coughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, please let me out. A cuckoo! We're at the top of one of the towers, probably the oldest tower that might date back to the 12th or 13th century. Um, this room, even though there's absolutely nothing in it, <laughs> is very interesting <laughs> because of the use it might have had in the past. We have very little uh, proper data about it, but the, what's really striking is the door that only locks from the outside with the wooden latch and it also has a serving hatch. Mark mm. likes to shut people in when they come to look around the chateau, our mm. friends. It's his favourite game. Yeah, it's quite fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> so when... Uh, the most likely explanation is that this room was occasionally used as a prison uh, because the, um, it, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't have been a long-term prison. It's just that the Lord of Rosière from 1639 had the rights of justice over his seigneury. And uh, it means that he was allowed to hold the uh, naughty to, people, well, criminals, to, to hold the court uh, cases oh, right. uh, locally. Yeah. 
and he might occasionally need to lock people somewhere. Naughty people. Naughty people, yeah. like you. <laughs> or English. And, um, and so the, it's not a very high security prison. <laughs> it's, it's just a, a wooden uh, latch and I'm sure that it would be reasonably easy to, to escape uh, from it if, uh, if uh, one was really determined. But you'd have a long way to go through the chateau. But yeah, to then you'd out. have to get all yeah. the way down to the chateau without uh, meeting anybody or uh, alternatively jump through the window, which might be a bit more perilous. Yeah, a bit more what? Perilous. Oh, perilous. <laughs> <laughs> I've left the window open deliberately to show you what a beautiful view it has though. Truly perilous, but a beautiful view. You can see out over the Alps in the far distance and the other local mountains here some of the beautiful trees at the end of the driveway, some of our orchard. In fact, I think I can see the, I saw a little while ago, I saw the pig rooting around the orchard. Yeah. Um, and today I even noticed that you can see lots of birds eating berries from the holly tree at this time of year. And that's my hypothesis, that the prisoners might have been able to do some bird watching <laughs> to, to spend their time. <laughs> And before, I mean, I, my big question is always, what is this? Um, it's quite likely that uh, this tower has, been, has had a lot of different uses throughout its history. And this is actually uh, quite a recent uh, blockage of what was probably a gun window. Uh, shooting, uh, well, a yeah, shooting so it looks loop. like that there. You can actually put your whole arm through this and it feels like it's hollow, this bit is hollow brick. And it carries on through the wall all the, the way. And I think it was probably originally a defensive feature yeah. uh, to, to, do, to be able to do some flanking uh, shooting. Down the side Down the, of the yeah. chateau. Yeah. And I think that there are probably some, uh, at least two more blocked windows on the other side, uh, because you can see that the plaster is uh, is very so smooth. Yeah. And so why would this why would this have been blocked up for warmth for? For Stop well, probably both. <laughs> and yeah, yeah for <laughs> when uh, when it didn't have any more defensive use. They just, uh, yeah, they just blocked the holes. And somebody's obviously unblocked it to see what it is or to see le if there were leaks. I don't know. I think the black uh, thing that's been leaking is the leftovers of a beehive that must have oh. uh, installed itself uh, in the, the hollow, the, the hollow wall. See. And maybe they just uh, knocked a bit of it to remove uh, yeah. the, the, the honey and things. One of the things we have been wondering about was the original use of yeah. the tower. Because uh, we, we have one big staircase in the middle of the chateau, but that staircase is clearly 18th century because it has a really nice uh, wrought iron railing of the style of that time period. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, where was the original uh, staircase to go to the, the top floors? And it's, uh, it could have been originally in this tower because yeah. it's quite a small tower. Uh, so it would, uh, it would be the right size for putting a spiral staircase. And there are some really uh, strange indents, aren't there, in the walls? Yes, and it looks like, uh, when you look under a certain light, it yeah. looks like there's a spiral going up this tower. It really does, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, so it could have been that there was an old spiral staircase that has been removed. Yeah. And uh, then they changed the use of this tower uh, to hold naughty people. Um, and do you, you have the records that show when they when they were allowed to lock people up, don't you? Yes. Well, not exactly the records, but um, yeah, the in the deeds, uh, the sales uh, transactions of the chateau, 
Uh, the, the chateau comes with the right of justice yeah. and uh, all those things. So we know that the right of justice was uh, sold with the land and the, the seigneury. One of the other notable things in this tower is the, the window stones, the, the frame uh, of the window, which is clearly, uh, le, it, it clearly postdates the tower. Uh, so the, the style of the carving is 16th century, but the tower is probably older. So it's, it means it's a, more, it's a more recent opening. And the original tower probably only had these little uh, arrow loops or gun loops. Um, and so it was probably extremely dark originally. I know it's not technically in this room, but it's just outside it. And I, I thought it might be interesting to show them the water tank and the sink out there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Would you like to go and lead the way? Follow me. <laughs> if you watched our visit of the attic the other day, I showed you an old uh, water tower that was uh, just stored them. There was actually another one that's also probably 19th century. And so this one was also fed by one of the springs of the estate. And so it was located on the top floor, which means there would have been uh, water pressure for the floors underneath. So this is it. And it's just outside the tower. So it's designed to smack your head on when you go to take, show people the tower, isn't it? Exactly. There's something else by your feet that's interesting as well, isn't there? Yeah, there is a little um, basin. I'm not sure exactly what its purpose was. It could have been an overflow of the water um, tank. The water tank, but or maybe possibly more likely a place to empty uh, buckets of water uh, that would just uh, through drain it outside. And we can actually, from the outside of the chateau, see uh, remains of a pipe sticking out about uh, in, in that position. And you can also, in the walls, see where they had the pipe running from the water tank as well, can't you? Yes, exactly. And so this pipe would have gone probably to the floor underneath to feed the, the washroom that yeah. was below. And these big pipes that run all the way through this floor, what are they? So this is the 1960s uh, central heating. They are not the most uh, beautiful pipes. <laughs> and we are trying to find a way to, to disguise them for when we will renovate the chateau. We might move some of these pipes to the attic and uh, but we will have to keep some of them because the the water has to circulate through the the chateau we're going to spend a few days on this floor now because it's fascinating and there's so much to show you and so much excitement for the future um but i was told off in a previous video for uh, showing too many spider webs and so those of you of a nervous disposition i mean you know i don't like spiders but you might want to be wearing your blindfold when you watch these videos. <laughs> <laughs>